Hello, this is Tom from Big Sky Internet Design, and uh, this is the second installment of tips on marketing your horses online. And today we're going to be talking about Google. Everyone knows that uh, Google is pretty important if you want to be found on the internet with your website. And obviously, being found is going to help your entire uh, marketing process of your horses and selling horses, or helping promote your association or your breeding program or what have you. So let's talk about a few things that you can do to help your rankings on Google organically, in other words, without having to pay for it. So the very first thing and the most important thing is to make sure that uh, the content is good on the website for what people may be typing in to find you. So relevancy and content are king. You know, we have a lot of times customers will, or, or new prospects will contact us and say, well, I want to be ranked first on Google. And it's like, well, that's great. You know, what what do you want people to um, find you with? You know, what would people type in to find you? And, um, you know, a lot of times those responses are very generic. Well, I want to come up first if someone types in horses for sale. Well, that's pretty generic and not very broad. And of course, many people now, well, pretty much everybody now understands that you have to be pretty specific on your search terms when you're searching for something because horses for sale could pull up everything from, you know, Frisians to ponies to cutting horses to who knows what. And so how does Google figure out what your site is about? Well, and I'm, I'm going to talk about Google specifically today, but what I'm talking about really applies to all search engines. So there's something called a Google bot and Google bots. Um, once we uh, submit your website or your webmaster submits your website to Google to be crawled index is what that's called. Google bots will take a look at it and they go through and they index all the content on the website. So that's all the text that's on there primarily. Uh, as web developers, you can add some additional text behind the scenes on imagery and things like that. But the idea is for Google to use that information to figure out what your site is about. So let's take an example. If you're marketing futurity prospects, say you're marketing cutting futurity prospects, and there's no mention of that on your website. Well, Google has no clue that you're actually marketing that to try to sell cutting horse futurity prospects. So that, that phrase needs to be on your website a number of times. And you can't overdo it because then Google gets mad at you and they won't index you at all. Um, and the other piece about this too is that it's important to have that information, although you can't really be saying for sale on Facebook, but you can certainly be talking about your fertility prospects on, on Facebook as oftentimes those pages will come up during searches as well. Next up is mobile friendly. And we talked about that a little bit, but how important it is for just for general users for your website to be mobile friendly. Well, Google wants you to be mobile friendly as well. Think of it this way. If you're on your tele, on your cell phone and you're searching for something, Google at this point, 100% of the time is going to bring up mobile friendly sites over non-mobile friendly sites every time. They're not going to show you some old desktop non-friendly mobile uh, non-friendly website when you're on your phone so and the vast majority of people do a lot of searching on their phone i'm sure you do as well and so it's really really important to keep your website up to date in regards to keeping it mobile friendly after we submit our clients websites to google occasionally we'll get emails from google and complaining about something not being mobile friendly and of course, we'll just hop in there and make whatever chain needs to be uh, changed and uh, fix that and then resubmit it. And then we'll get another email back and Google will say, yep, you're good to go. So it's important to keep all of that up to date. Next up, we're talking about security. And Google wants to see websites that are secure. Identity theft is a huge problem anymore. And Google wants to make sure that all websites are secure. Well, what does that mean, Tom? Well, here's, here's a look at our website. And you can see up in the red circle is our um, URL, BigSignInternetDesign.com, and there's a little lock icon next to it. Well, that indicates that our website is secure. Well, what does that do? Well, think of it this way. If you're filling out a contact form or just browsing around and you put in your name and phone number and email address and, uh, heaven forbid, a credit card, 
and the website is not secured, anybody in, can pretty much e anymore very easily get that information as it goes from your website browser to the web server. And so that's why the SSL security certificate is critical. And what that does is it encrypts all the data that goes back and forth there. And so, you know, think about spy movies, you know. Of course, on the movies, everybody can decrypt something in like 10 seconds because there's nothing to it. It's not, not at all that easy. But uh, but anyway, so that's about that's about security and how important that is if you want to be ranked well with Google. Next up is keeping your website up to date. Now I'm talking about the content. You know, I mean, how many times have you been to a website and seen a stud fee from, say, 2014 still on there? And it's obvious that nobody's touched that website, maybe since it went live. And uh, so it's very important to keep your website up to date. Those Google bots we talked about a little bit ago, they crawl your website routinely and they know when content has changed so say for example you've sold a horse marked it as sold added some new ones had some babies born uh, if you're association you've got some new events coming up uh, you just posted some results from the last show whatever it is google recognizes that and they want to see websites that are active as do your users because no user is going to want to keep coming to your website and seeing the same thing over and over and because eventually they're going to quit coming so what I talked about was true for all search engines, not just Google. But Google really is key, is, is the king. So that's why we really concentrate on Google in all of these regards. Uh, and, you know, there's other search engines out there. Bing is slowly coming on. And uh, actually, fun fact, Bing will be returning all the search results for AOL and Yahoo now. So... Uh, where in the past Google would uh, get in on some of that action as well. And of course, Google comes on every Android phone and um, many, many iPhone users will install a Google app, you know, so that way they can search and um, get similar results that they're used to getting. So that's it about Google. Uh, please let us know if you got any questions, be happy to answer them. And uh, stay tuned for our next installment of this. And that's going to be talking about the presentation of your sale horses on your website.